From then, the long haul was back down, right the way back through London, down to the service point in Hastings, which is four down territory. So we're here in Hastings now. Pretty England outside. Last day of the trip, definitely save the best for last. Pull up to the legendary Source Park. Only the second really long stint that we had to do. We had to do a five hour stretch this morning. I've always had a dream of wanting to go to Source Park. It was in this old like swimming pool that the town had that was like right on the beach underground. It was probably one of the sickest parks that I've ever been to in my life. I've been like waiting to go there for super long. I see it in this video and then you come up to it and you see it in person and uh, it's a pretty amazing place. It's a surreal thing, yeah. Oh shit, it's a new fucking vegan bars in style. Look at that. I had a great couple and their son give me a teapot with loose tea leaves. Okay. Got to ride the bowl for a bit, did a live stream of Source. Fucking love that bowl. It's gotta be one of my favorites and uh, always can't wait to make it back. We were all pretty beat by this point, so nobody really rode that much. I was just hyped to get to see the park in the first place. out with Creasy, burgers, I had like three sausages. I'm going back to being vegetarian, boys. Those dudes do it so right. They had a little cookout for us. Creasy showed us the boiler room, super creepy, definitely haunted. The <laughs> war bunker is in the wetlands and it smells just like this. It smells like hurricanes in Huntington Beach. Yeah. Uh, right under there, big sumps of water that, that make it fill up. About a meter and a half up that wall. Wow. We had to pump 1.2 million litres out. So it goes all the way back through there, and all the way through there is the old machinery that used to run the swimming baths as well. Well, stop, stop. Hole. Wait, 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 wait. It's haunted. He got called in for a late night and they got someone to break it in. Brandon, I fucking shat myself. And then that night, Ian Morris let us stay at his house. Couldn't be a better ending here. Amazing view of Atlantic Ocean. We was in London for a week before the shop stopped, so this is a fairly long trip. It's crazy. What we did was crazy. Two weeks, London, all around England. Made good friends, best friends for life with Gary. Shout out to Gary for always looking out for the team, putting the team on his back. Getting to know the guys, I speak to them on the internet, like Instagram and stuff, and so actually getting to meet them and hang out with them for a week was fucking amazing. Going home, baby. Back to California. Who is ready for the Gary experience? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God.
Oh my good lord. <laughs> right, okay, so for those of people that don't know me, my name is Gary. Up until about two weeks ago, these blokes had never heard of me. They really didn't know, and I never heard of them. And that's when the tour started. And my lord, what a tour. I've been a band driver now for about five years. So I thought, my god, what have I let myself in for? We're either going to be in the hospital or we're going to be in the slammer. Obviously, the blogging and the social media that gets around, which is sort of with me, but the guys before two days in and the van was more famous than me. Overall, the trip was super fun though. Got to meet a lot of people that I was stoked on meeting. Ate a lot of fucking beans and meat and bread. Glad I got the invite on the trip. I feel like, almost like we can do whatever we want. Cause we're from America, you know? And like, what are they gonna put us in jail forever? No, I'll just sit us home or something, right? <laughs> Right? They can't keep you here. You know, I didn't expect coming on this trip how gnarly it was going to be. It was tiring, but it was fun. Like, definitely fun. You know, I, you know, I'm riding, filming with Tony, going to these shop stops, I'm vlogging, doing all this stuff, and it's been mentally straining, physically straining and exhausting, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. Like, hanging out with Gary, hanging out with my buds, and traveling around England, you can't really ask for much. You know, it's real, real easy to complain about some things when you're on the road, but if you put it in perspective, this whole this whole trip has been one like pretty pretty heavy adventure, and I, I can't wait to kind of look back on this. Was dealing with a sprain whenever I came on this trip, and riding, uh, I could not do it to 100%, which is a little bit of a letdown. Like for instance, I was supposed to stay a week after at Source and film uh, one of those lock-in projects, and I just can't. You know, I my, I can't put my body through that right now. I. Uh, Gotta let my back heal up. Kinda sucked dealing with that throughout the trip, but I still had a fucking an amazing time. It, you could come to London and do anything, have a good time. We did it up in typical England fashion. It's been a great tour, and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Shout out to Foo Man, Ian Morris, everybody at Four Down, Creasy and all them at Source Park for having us. Shout out to Dugan for putting a hole in the Airbnb door at the bottom of the stairs. All the shop owners, all the kids that came out, I'm hyped that I got to go. Gonna ask for more. I mean, for me at my age, I never thought I'd get this experience, and I would not have missed it for the world. Good. Perfect. These guys know their stuff. They really are the best in the game.